picket lines in his constituency this morning. The Blue I'm not just pleased to be here, I'm proud to be here, proud to be a great journalist, proud to stand in solidarity with journalists taking industrial action. And I think there's a message that the rest of the country needs to get. We owe to the trade union movement, to organised labour, the fact that we have a national health service, the fact that we have a welfare state, the fact that we have health, safety and welfare and work legislation, equality legislation, minimum wage. There's so many things that have been achieved because of the strength of organised labour. That is something that we need to understand. And in our schools and colleges, our young people need to understand that our democracy comes from those a long time ago in the Peasants' Revolts, those levelers in the English Civil War, the Chartists in the 19th century, Red Clydesiders in the 20th century, the Hunger Marchers in the 1930s, the Miners' Strike in the 1980s, all those who stood for something better, for something good in our society. So when we strike and march today, we are here in Trafalgar Square. There are people all over this country on demonstrations outside town halls in main squares. There are people all over the world taking action and demonstrating for a different and better society. And I'm delighted, for example, to see the banner here from War on Walk standing up against global poverty and for global justice. Because ours is a cause. Ours is a cause. Yes for better wages, yes for protecting jobs and conditions, but it's also a challenge. It's a challenge to the government down there and to indeed to every member of parliament. Austerity has been imposed on the people of this country in just the same way it was imposed on Latin America and Africa in the 1980s and 90s, and it's now been imposed all across Europe. Is it necessary? Is it an economic point? Is it a bookkeeping point? No. What it's about is politically re-engineering our society and politically re-engineering the whole of Europe. Behind this austerity lies an attack on working conditions, lies a reduction in wages, lies a greater and much bigger inequality within our society. That is what austerity is all about. So our demonstration today is to say to the employers, we've had enough of pay freezes, we've had enough of 1% when the retail price index is going up 2.5%. We've had enough of sanctions against people on benefits, of bed a bedroom tax and all the other cuts that are going on. We've had enough of fast rising private rents so the poor are forced out of central London because of the lack of rent control. There are so many important issues. In our strength, in our unity, we will win the argument, we will win the money on the wages, we will defend the jobs, but above all, we've got to make that message stronger and clearer. We want a society that provides the, for the needs of all, not for the greed of the few, that makes everyone pay fair amounts of taxes. And my message to Vodafone and Starbucks and all the other tax dodgers, we're coming to get you. We've got enough of your We've got enough of your equality in society. Thank you to all the public sector workers that educate our children, put out the fires, drive the ambulances, run the hospitals, build the houses, and keep us safe. It's the public sector that is the lifeblood of this country. But it's clear quite rightly said, and I conclude with this thought, the unity we need is the people, whoever they work for, wherever they work, the same issues apply. Fair wages, decent conditions, security of employment, and society that protects all, rather than discards a few to sleep on the streets and live a life of desperate poverty. Thanks for coming today. Solidarity to all.